welcome to Teacher Tip Tuesday. Um, today I want to share something with you. Um, this is kind of a way, you know, teachers often need a lot of different materials in their classroom. And um, teachers, unfortunately, spend a lot of their own money in order to get those materials. So what I wanted to share with you today is a way that you can um, select items that you might be in need of for your classroom and share them with the public, um, essentially your parents or anybody else who might be kind enough to um, want to give a little bit of their money in order to your educational cause. Um, and that is with Amazon wish list. Okay. So what I have here is you can see that I have my Facebook class page okay and this is a huge way um, that I typically communicate with my parents um, just to kind of let them know um, what's going on in our classroom things that are coming up things that we need um, and whatnot so um, if you don't have a classroom Facebook page I highly highly suggest that you create one and make it a priority for parents to go and click that like button during your back to school bash or your open house night before school ever begins. Um, it's a great way to make parents kind of accidentally informed. Um, you know, they're scrolling through Facebook and then boom, all of a sudden they see what's going on in your classroom. So um, first you would need to have a classroom Facebook page. Um, another great uh, way to connect with parents is an app called Class Dojo. Um, I'll be doing a video on that later, um, but you are welcome um, to search for that. And it is a phenomenal way, not only to communicate with parents, but for parents to be informed about um, their child's behavior in your classroom as well. So if you have your class Facebook page, um, and then you're going to um, use Amazon, okay? So um, just go to your Amazon account and you can see here, um, these are um, some things that I would like for my classroom. I'm interested in uh, setting up some STEM boxes and things like that for my kids to use um, to promote, you know, that, that problem solving, critical thinking, um, especially for those early finishers. And one thing that I would like to purchase for my classroom are Legos. Now, of course, you can search Legos and you're going to find name brand Legos. But if you're savvy, um, see here, I have searched um, bu toy building blocks, building bricks. And so, um, essentially it's Legos. They're just off brand Legos. And I would like to purchase um, this item right here. It's a, a thousand bricks um, and they're only $25. So sometimes, you know, I know me as a parent, if I saw this on my child's classroom, I'm like, that's, you know, $25 to help contribute to my child's classroom and their learning. So I would probably go for this as a parent. And all you're going to do is select the item that you want and you're going to click right here and you're going to add it to a list. And so I have added that now to my wish list. Okay. So I can click here and see my wish list and see things that I have already put on here. Um, if I wanted to uh, specify a quantity, let's say I wanted two, I'm just going to go here and make this two. That way my parents can see, you know, I want to, I have zero of those. Scroll down here and you can see some other things I've added to my wish list. Um, one of my goals this year, I am moving to a new school. I would like to implement some flexible seating options. And so I've included, you know, some pretty inexpensive things, you know, the balls, the stability balls, yoga mats, chair cushions. Um, and I try to pick things that are pretty um, reasonably priced. You know, I don't want anything too outlandish. And so what I'm going to do now that I have um, this wish list set up is um, you can share the link to this wish list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, you want to make sure that your wish list is public. See my wish list here? It is public. That way anybody um, can access it and see it. So I'm just going to copy this link here. And I'm going to go back over to my classroom page and I'm just going to simply put that in a post on my face on my Facebook for my classroom. I'm going to say, um, uh, you know, good morning and just, you know, let them know what my purpose is. Um, we are excited to be implementing some always make sure you spell check some um we're excited to be implementing some great things in our classroom this year and we could use 
your help. Um, please check out the Amazon wish list below for items we would like to use in our classroom. Any of these purchases would be of great help. Thanks so much. All right. Good reader. Like I tell my kids, always goes back and checks their work, right? We are excited to be implementing some great things in our classroom this year. We could use your help. Please check our Amazon wish list below for items we would like to use in our classroom. And then you're just going to paste your link right there. So they are going to be able um, to go directly to your wish list. And the way that this is set up uh, through your wish list, once somebody purchases it, it's going to mail it right to um, your regular Amazon shipping address. So for me, it's going to come to my house. And then I'm just going to publish this. And now all of the parents who have subscribed or liked my classroom Facebook page um, can easily go here and see our Amazon wish list. And hopefully um, you will get some items to add to your classroom from that. So that is my tip with using Amazon wish list to get what you need for your classroom. And thanks for hanging out for this tip Tuesday. And we will see you guys next time.